Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about discrete random variable and probability mass function. In our previous class, we clearly discussed about what random variable means. Please watch that class. This is a continuation class, hoping that you already have that intuition about what random variable means. Based on that, the explanation is provided here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So, random variables are of two types. First one is discrete random variable and second one is continuous random variable. In this class, we are going to understand what discrete random variable means. So, first we will understand the definition discrete random variable. A random variable x which contains a finite number of discrete values in an interval. Remember this point, a finite number of discrete values in an interval is called discrete random variable. So with the example, you are going to understand it better. So the example which we consider here is a toss three coins. We are tossing three coins. What are all the possible space, sample space that uh, related to when we toss the three coins? Head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, head. These are the eight possibilities. Uh, let's say our random variable X is equal to number of heads. So what are the possibilities of X? Zero, zero heads, one head, two heads, three heads. These are all the possible values for the random variable X. This random variable X is in the range. What are the values that belongs to this random variable? What's the range of values that it belongs to? Zero to three. That is what we call it as interval of that random variable. So what's our definition says? A finite number of discrete values in an interval is called so in this interval 0 to 3 our random variable is going to take only a finite set of discrete values then we say this random variable is a discrete random variable it is going to take 0 value <coughs> our random variable is going to take 0 1 2 and 3 it is not going to take 0 0.1 1.1 these values are not considered by our random variable if in this interval all the values are considered by our random variable then we say it as a continuous random variable so we discuss about continuous random variable in our coming classes so here this random variable we call it as discrete random variable because in this interval it is going to take a finite set of discrete values then we say it as discrete random variable and the function f of x is providing the probability of the uh, random variables uh, probability values for the random variables uh, zero zero heads is possible by tail 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 only one possibility is there out of eight uh, that's why probability is one by eight uh, one head is possible by three chances are there 3 by 8. 2 heads are possible by 3 are there 3 by 8. 3 heads are possible 1 by 8. These are all the pro probability values for the discrete random variable Zx. This we call it as probability distribution. Now coming to understand discrete random variable probability function or we call it as probability mass function. So discrete random variable probability function or we call this as a probability mass function. See here f of x is going to provide the probability values. So probability mass function we call this f of x is call it as a probability mass function. If it satisfies two conditions what's those conditions? f of x greater than or equal to 0 for each real number x. Here x means in our example, x value is 0, 1, 2, 3. This function, if you substitute in this function, if you substitute 0 value, the function is going to provide a value which is greater than or equal to 0. If you substitute 1, it should be greater than or equal to 0. If you substitute 2, it should be greater than or equal to 0. Then only we say it as a, so this is the first condition that is satisfied by our function f of x discrete probability function or probability mass function so why why this condition should be satisfied this function is providing our probability values probability values will always be greater than zero greater than or equal to zero negative values are not accepted in our probability values that's why this is considered this condition is been has been given 
and second condition is summation of all x if you substitute x values in this function and whatever the values you got from this function if you sum all the values that should give us 1 1 means why why this second condition summation of all the values substituted in our function should be equal to 1 why see here f of x if you substitute if for f of x for 0 value is 1 by 8 for 1 value is 3 by 8 for 2 value is 3 by 8 for 3 value is 1 by 8 this is what our sample space is understand it properly it is very very important to understand this is what our sample space is how why we are saying it as a sample space because if you take any sample event either you will have three heads two heads two heads two heads one head one head one head zero heads all the possibilities are there here so probability of sample space is equal to one that's why summation of all these values should be one then only we can say if the function satisfies these two condition then only we can say it as our function is probability mass function we can use that function for our probability as a probability mass function otherwise we cannot use that function let's take an example y is equal to x square is this function probability mass function no this function cannot be used as a probability mass function so we will do some examples which functions we consider it as probability mass function in our next class so you understand that which functions we have to consider it as probability mass functions these two conditions should be satisfied so that is the statement it has been given here any function satisfying about two conditions is discrete probability function or we call it as probability mass function so hope you understand the concept of what is discrete random variable and discrete probability function or probability mass function if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you